Ahoy and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to talk about how to get the best long guns at least as of right now in Skull and Bones. These cannons are called the Skurlock Long Nines. Surprisingly a lot of people don't know how to get these cannons so that's the reason why I would like to make a video on uh, these cannons today. They are quite popular a lot of a lot of kingpins do use these cannons because of their different perks. I certainly like to use them, they are probably my most favourite weapon in the game as of right now, but yeah, let's get into it. Before we actually talk about how to actually obtain these cannons, let's talk about the Skurlock Long Knights themselves and their, you know, their, their details I suppose. So here they are, mounted on the front of my ship. Uh, so the Skurlock's Long Nines, it is a uh, I believe the class is epic. I believe that's what they refer to the purple class, the purple highlighted class. Um, but it is an epic long gun. As the description says, infamous long guns that Skurlock has used to cripple many a ship, dismantling their mast before the kingpin charges in for the kill. They do use cannonballs, and their damage is 3,194. Now, comparing these to other cannons, like for instance the okay i don't have one as of right now but comparing them to the normal long gun 5 these cannons do a little bit less raw damage than than as i said the long gun 5s the reason why these guns are so popular is because of their perks so as you can see here in the perks we have mast breaker deals 7000 damage after the torn sails effect is applied so basically what that means is when you when the shot from sorry when the shot from one of these cannons is the last before the tearing the torn sails effect takes place on an enemy ship these cannons will actually take away 7000 of the enemy ship's health which is actually quite a big chunk especially in PVP so these cannons are definitely useful in PVP Especially because you don't have to target the hull specifically, you can target the sails, which is a big surface area to hit for, uh, to aim for rather. The next perk is Piercing 3, adds 30% of damage as piercing damage increases damage to weak points by 100%. So hitting those weak points is definitely going to be a big, um, a big thing when it comes to these, uh, when it comes to these guns. Especially if you're going up against uh, ships like the Sambuk or the Snow. Having this piercing effect definitely does... Well, rather, can definitely change the tide of battle to your favour. And then it has Tearing 2, increases damage by 50% when hitting the sail. What that basically means is that you deal more damage hitting the sails with these cannons than you do actually the hull. Of course, hitting the hull is still good. But obviously, hitting the sails. It, it's a, 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 I noticed this is a perk on the tearing culverins as well, so you could probably do a nice combo with the tearing culverins and these cannons. Now, let's talk about how to actually obtain these guns. So, it is a bit of a long process to actually get these guns, but the process goes like this. So, what you want to do is access your helm office within St. Anne. The reason why I say St. Anne is because you need your distillery. The first thing which you want to do, and that is to produce a White Skull Rum. Now, obviously, to produce this, you need a uh, sugar cane. Uh, each, uh, each one sugar cane is the equivalent to one bottle of White Skull Rum. Now, the reason why you need White Skull Rum is because you need to produce another type of rum called Gold Skull Rum. To produce one bottle of Gold Skull Rum, you need two bottles of White Skull Rum. Now, of course, the question is, how do you produce Gold Skull Rum? So what you want to do is come over to your Helm Empire overview over here. You want to go to Upgrades. And what you want to do in the first section, which is Smuggler Operations, you want to get to level 7 in Smuggler Operations and Upgrades. So unlock production of Gold Skull Rum from the, re from the refinement of White Skull Rum. 
so of course the question is why do you need to make gold skull rum allow me to show you so naturally these cannons can only be obtained from Skurlock himself as they are his cannons however there is a bit of a hefty price to allow me to make my way to <laughs> Skurlock's office nearly there up the stairs John Skurlock's office skip the cutscene come on come on come on <laughs> right buy and sell so as you can see here Skurlock's long nines are here but as you can see not enough gold skull rum as it says on the bottom and it actually says the total price for for one of these cannons is 1000 gold skull rum so that means you need to distill about a thousand gold skull rum by refining 2000 white skull if you do this you get the skull lock long nines now in another video i will be speaking about what is the best way to actually obtain things like sugarcane and poppy and whatever sugarcane specifically so that you can actually produce white skull rum and then of course gold skull but hopefully today's video has helped everyone understand how to actually get these cannons as i said i'm a big fan of these cannons i really do like them they do everything i need they do the mass breaker effect especially when you're at a distance and you're in pvp you want to be able to immobilize the enemy and hitting their sails with these cannons especially uh, as i said if you pair them with the cul uh, the tearing culverins you can definitely deal a lot of damage and basically the enemy will never go away so um yeah anyway hope everyone's enjoyed today's video if you've enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video farewell and happy pirating